have limited space, working with a restricted budget. This is a concern for a lot of people, including students. Hi, I'm Special Agent Nicholas Kundnick Sykes from Best Buy's Geek Squad, and welcome to WatchMojo.com. Today we'll be talking about some tips and tricks on how to save money and how to maximize your space for your apartment or your dorm. Tip one, one of the things you want to do is limit the number of wires and limit the number of adapters. So using wireless keyboards, mice, earpieces, uh, even joysticks and game pads, the ideal solution is to find something that's Bluetooth. The reason why is you can have one adapter that'll work for everything and the likelihood of you having one thing conflict with another uh, is limited. Having everything wireless will allow you to put it away once you're done with it, so it saves the space so you can use your desk for actual desk work. And not only that, all of those wires prevent clutter, tripping over, and actually breaking items. So the wireless provides you with a lot of benefits. Another tip would be to consider getting a TV tuner card for your computer. They exist for both desktops and laptops. The advantage of this is you don't need a separate box to watch TV. It allows you to watch, record, even pause live TV. Some of these also have the ability to listen to the radio, so you don't even need a separate radio. Just a good pair of speakers on your TV, and there you go, you have your home entertainment system. A couple of the tips that might be interesting is to protect your investment. Everything from a basic alarm using your webcam, wall mounting your TV, making it safe space, but also making it much more difficult to steal, using locks for both your desktops and your laptops. One of the other things that you can do to save money and also save space is to use something called, or a technology called tethering. What that basically means is, taking your internet connection that you're using already on your Blackberry or your iPhone and connecting it to your computer, either your laptop or your desktop, for internet access. Now, it's not going to be as fast, but it will provide you with a decent connection and you don't need to spend extra money monthly. Someone who's doing a lot of downloading, uh, who's doing a lot of video streaming, uh, those kinds of usage may not be ideal for tethering because you're going to easily surpass your monthly plan and it's going to end up costing you more expensive than getting a separate internet connection. What happens if you have multiple devices? There are special routers that exist. Some call it a travel router, others call it a 3G router. Whatever it is, whatever it's called, at the end of the day you're plugging your phone or your high-speed USB uh, dongle to it and it's the one that provides the internet access to the rest wirelessly.